In today's video, we are heading down to the salon and we're gonna pick out the products that I swear by and use on a daily basis. Hi guys, what's up? My name is Riley and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am a licensed cosmetologist in the state of California. And today I'm gonna be talking about all the products that I swear by in the salon. Let me know down below if you have tried these products or you're going to give them a try and which ones are your favorite. Now let's get started. Hi guys. So it's been a little while now if the angle or the lighting changed, that's why. So I just went to the salon and grabbed all of my favorite things to show you guys. So let's just get started. So first we're gonna start off with clips. The clips that I have learned to love are actually by Wet Brush. They are just these super cheap plastic alligator clips. Literally, they're so random, so cheap, but I love them because they're very flexible. I have clips that are so hard to get open that it slows me down when I'm just sectioning the hair and I'm clipping it up. These are so easy to get open. I can literally do it with one finger. I love these things. They're only a couple dollars. My second clip favorite favorite is by Framar and I like to use these ones for the hairline and baby fine hairs. This clip is different from any other clip because it has a little rubber band in it. It's kind of like a rubber band. Honestly, I'm not exactly sure what it is. That secures all the fine baby hairs. So when I'm foiling the hairline, if they want a money piece, I'm always using these clips or if anyone just has really fine hair because I feel like they actually grip the hair really well and hold all the babies in place. You can actually get both of these clips at your local salon centric. My next favorite is a foiling comb. This is the Crest Extra Long Foiling Comb. At the first salon I ever worked at, the owner used an extra long foiling comb and I will never go back to regular size foiling combs. I don't know what it is about the extra long pintail, but I just can't go back. It's so easy to section the hair. It's so easy to get foil around it. It also has pretty small teeth so it's perfect for teasing they're easy to hold but you can get them at your salon centric or at cosmo prof my next favorite is of course a wet brush i absolutely love these things and i know they're a fan favorite for most hairstylists i do a lot of foliaging which means i'm constantly teasing the hair to get a better blend between their natural color and the blonde that i'm adding in and these things brush out all of the teas. I absolutely love them. I know that a lot of companies have knockoff wet brushes, but I promise you the real wet brush does it better. If you've never tried one of these, if you're a client and don't have one, you need one of these. Next, moving on to brushes. I actually have started a new obsession with smaller brush heads. I don't know what it is, but I feel like I have more control over the product. I feel like I can get closer to the scalp. I also feel like they're more dense and hard, which is great for finer hair. It really holds down the foil so you get a better grip. This one is from Framar. It actually has a little pointy end. This is for sectioning or whatever you want. I personally don't really use this part of it. It's just how it came. They also have have your average ones with the normal grip. I love both of these. Would I recommend one of those for like gray coverage or like a root melt? Absolutely not. But for blonding, I recommend you try one of these. Now moving on to foiling. I love the Fermar pop-up foils. They come pre-cut. You don't have to cut any foils, which honestly is already worth it to me. They also just pop up out of the dispenser so easy. Like I said, they are pre-cut. They're super easy if you're trying to do a fast foil. If you're just in a rhythm, there's 500 foils in these. So depending on how many people you see a day, this will last you at least a couple days. I've talked about this with a couple other hairstylists and I think they can agree with me that there's just something about these foils that are different. They feel thicker yet thinner at the same time. I think a good way to put it is they feel sturdier but thinner at the same time. I don't really know. My second foiling favorite is also from Framar. These I like to use for foliages. They are the ultimate grip non pre-cut embossed foil sheets. These also come in a pack of 500. As you can see, it's just so worth it to me to pay more not to have to cut foil. But essentially, these are very similar. They're just longer. They do come like in a box like this. So it's super easy. You just grab however many you need out and then you can close up the box. If you haven't tried these, I recommend trying them. I recently started using them. These are a new favorite of mine. Now going on to product. When I was getting my hair done a couple months ago, my hairstylist used the Kenra blow dry spray on me. 
And ever since then, I have not been able to not use it on a client. I don't know if it necessarily blow dries the hair faster, but it smells so so good like it's worth it to just use it for the smell and it also is a heat protectant i wish you guys could smell it through the screen it literally smells like coconuts in hawaii and pineapple and all the good things you can get this at cosmoprof if you've never tried it before it also makes the hair so soft and so shiny i absolutely love this stuff i cannot go without it another one of my favorites which i didn't grab from the salon but i do have some footage of is the wella post color treatment i get so so many comments of people being like, what is that? That smells so good. So I love to use it on my foliage clients. After I rinse out their bleach, I like to put it in all the teas and then I use my wet brush to just brush it out. It makes the hair so soft, literally as soft as Olaplex. It smells so good and it's not a smell that just leaves the hair after it's dry. It smells like it for days after you use it. It's like a conditioner consistency. It is so amazing. It helps seal the cuticle. If you haven't tried it, get it at Cosmoprof. It's literally amazing. My first tool I also don't have with me, but it is my Dyson blow dryer. Now this thing is an investment. It is so expensive. I did buy it right at the start of my career. I knew I needed it. It is so quiet, so light, like so light. It is so so nice for a salon setting because the people next to you don't have to scream over it. It has multiple heat settings, air power settings, and it's super easy to clean the filter. And it lets you know when you need to clean the filter instead of like smoking up and smelling like burnt hair. Another tool favorite of mine is my Bioionic Long Barrel Curling Iron. This is a one and a quarter inch. Most of my clients have pretty long hair and this is amazing. It heats up in no time at all. It's super easy easy to glide through the hair, especially long hair. And my clients love the look of their hair after I curl with this. I will say I love this for extensions. So if you do extensions or you just have a lot of clients that have super long hair, this is amazing. Now this one goes out to my clients with shorter hair. This is the Babyliss Pro Curling Iron. I don't know exactly what this is called. This is a shorter barrel curling iron. I like to use this on my clients with shorter hair. I actually use it on my hair as well. I feel like using a smaller barrel actually helps the curls last longer on shorter hair. This heats up so fast, but it's not too powering where it's gonna like burn the hair. So those are the products that is going to wrap up my favorites video. I literally use these products every single day in the salon. I swear by them. Totally recommend them if you've never tried them before. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want another one in a couple months because I'm constantly trying new things, I will totally do one for you guys. Don't forget to check out my Instagram and subscribe down below. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!